All right, so let's go ahead for this problem. Let's go ahead and let's solve for r sub 1. So first thing we can do is get, there's a few ways we can do this, but we'll get r1 by itself. So we'll subtract both sides by 1 over r squared. So we end up with 1 over r minus 1 over r sub 2 is equal to 1 over r1. So what I'll do on the left side is I'm going to get a common denominator. So I'll multiply, I'll have a common denominator of r, r, r sub 2. So when we do that, we'll have r sub 2 on top minus r, because that's what you do, because you multiply this by r on the bottom, r on top, um, r2 on the bottom, r2 on top. So then we have r, r2. And the reason I did this, I'll show you, is because now I can reciprocate both sides. So we end up with, and I'm going to write the right side first, r sub 1 is equal to r, r, r2 over r2 minus r. And that's it. And that's how you solve this. Sorry if my r's, my r's almost kind of look like weird k's, but that's the general equation. So the nice thing about setting up a general equation is you can plug it in any numbers and you'll get what you need out. Um, if you do circuits, if you do series circuits or parallel circuits or do circuit analysis, you'll have to do stuff like this. All right. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you next time.